So about a couple days ago, I made a video talking about like the ins and outs of why eBay is kind of like a scam and there's kind of reasons to believe it. At this point, it's kind of like a conspiracy, like how they really do business because their policies aren't really what they say it is. There's just so many things they let people get away with, mostly buyers taking advantage of sellers. And then they, and people think it's the sellers trying to scam the buyers, but it's really not true. But I want to follow up on what happened to me and uh, kind of point out to you like kind of what to look out for and why this really does matter in a case. So for example, about a while ago I was uh, selling a bunch of Final Fantasy guidebooks. Uh, one guy over in Australia bought it. Won't give out his name, won't give out his account information. But what happened was we sold it for 60 bucks. Uh, the item was 30, the shipping was 30, at least in this case. So what happened was he contacted me and said that the item wasn't described as it was and he messaged uh, eBay and basically eBay stepped in took the item and gave him his refund and his money took the money right out of my account even though but what's weird is and this is where it gets interesting and I've read this multiple times he was the one that was actually supposed to return the the um he agreed that he was going to be the one that would send the item back and then he would have me send the refund back so I'd at least get the item back. Well, what happened was I called one of the reps up and even they looked at the case number and even they were telling me, well, as a seller, you know, you can't do anything. You can't close this until either he sends it back or it closes. There's two different deadlines here. Well, he, well, the buyer was sending me another deadline saying buy, this was going back a couple days ago, that he only had until the the 16th of August to send it back. Otherwise it would automatically close. But that wasn't simply true because on my end, it simply said September 5th. Now, if you're not understanding the days of these, uh, basically what happened was he was saying he had 15 days, but eBay would say I had 35 days to give them, but they don't mention this. See, if you, but if you do some research, there's people that have said that eBay's refund policy can go anywhere between 15 to 35 days. It's either or, even eBay doesn't know. But my point is eBay doesn't care about their policy and they lie about lying about their policies. So there's that. So what happened was, you know, they told me, oh, you know, don't worry about it, Travis. Don't, don't uh, ship it out. Don't give him his refund until you get the item. You know, he can't, the whole reason the dispute's still open is because they're still trying to figure out what to do. Well, the thing is, you know, he uh, was getting, he called up eBay and they just basically told him, say, hey, you know, you have to send the item back first before he can send the refund. But the thing is, they're like at the same time, well, you know what, we can just step in too and close the whole thing so we can defeat the whole purpose of even go, going through that. So my point is, if you're going to sell on eBay and you get stuck in this mess, this is the one thing you want to avoid, full refunds. Because the problem is eBay allows, doesn't even realize what their own policy is because it's almost like it's run by a criminal organization in a way. Like, I don't know the whole details, but it just seems like, I don't know, it seems like they have like mafia ties or something. You know, they steal from people, they rearrange everything, and then they send it on their way to somebody else. But it's just, it doesn't make sense because what happened to me was, you know, when you think of a refund, you think of exchanging the goods back and all the money's gone. Well, eBay took 30 more dollars out of my account, and that was even before they even considered sending it back. If they wanted me to pay for the shipping, it would have been another 30 dollars because that's what the shipping was in this case so all because ebay took out 30 dollars from the first time and it was a mess so basically what happened was and this wouldn't be the first time and i'm sure it definitely won't be the last time on ebay what happened in my case was so it was 60 dollars total the item was 30 dollars and then 30 dollars for the shipping ebay took the 30 dollars for international shipping and they basically gave me what was left of it. Well, the guy wanted a full refund, so he took the, they took what was left of it, and then they charged me for the shipping. eBay didn't refund me for the first time they took the shipping because they were like, oh, well, there. eBay doesn't uh, give back the money that they supposedly, you know, should be refunding to because they took a percentage of it. And, and at least in this case, and then it's like I'm out $30 more dollars rather than it should have been 60 And... It shouldn't have been, well, actually it should have been zero. So in this case, it's like I spent $90. So I got, so it's like I had to give him $60 and then I had to give eBay 30 and it would have been another 30 if they wanted me to pay for the shipping label. It, it, what I'm saying is it, it, it's a mess. It's confusing. It makes no sense. And it's just bullshit. And eBay should be ashamed of themselves that they allow this crap. But you know what? It, it, what I want to prove at the same time, and a lot of people have already said this, 
eBay is a great place to sell when you're not dealing with this because the problem is though, it's all about money. And if eBay wasn't making money, they wouldn't be doing it like this. They don't care how they do it as long as they're making money, good, bad, illegal, whatever. There's lawsuits that they've had where they get charged for something, they pay settlements, but they make so much money, they just continue to keep doing it. So they keep getting sent to court. It's, it's ridiculous. And so basically, I don't know if there's another website out there, but it could also be what you're trying to sell too, depending on how easy it is to sell and I guess whatever price you can get for it. That's really good. And it really depends on the people you're buying. But I've always looked at it like, you know, what really pisses me off absolutely the most about this whole thing is the fact that if people don't want something, they shouldn't buy it. You know, you try that logic anywhere else in the stores, th that doesn't work, you know? You know, why, why go, like, I mean, I can understand, like, you know, maybe people feel like they're being ripped off or it's not their expectations and sure they have the ability to return it. But, but what I'm saying is you can't keep the item and your money. That's not how it works. And eBay has lied to me about the fact that they lied about their illegal policy, that that's how they want you to believe it has to be. They say that don't ship the item out until he sends you a refund or he sends you the item back and then you send the refund, but then they're like, fuck it, we'll just let him keep it, we'll close the case and you can't even repeal it. Or if you do repeal it, we'll just reject it. You know, it's like, okay, you think that people aren't gonna sue you because you're lying about your own policies, your own, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. And then what happens afterwards is now that your account's in the negatives, not your, not your bank account, but the, uh, the, uh, the funds. Now I got to worry about paying this off first before I can pay off shipping labels. Cause they want my credit card information or my debit card, which mind you, if you're paying with credit card, it's like 28% interest rates or something stupid that they don't tell you that. So if you're in the United States, like for the first time, the national debts uh, for credit card debt it hit over a trillion which is outrageous, but you know, the world's run by a bunch of thugs. That's basically it. In the world of business, it's who can get away with what and cheat what. And if anybody doesn't know that, you'd be surprised. There's so many things. I, I work in international advertising. And there's a lot of stuff that a lot of people get away with that you, it would just make your skin crawl. Just, it's, it's not if it's legal or illegal, it's what people can get away with. It's, it's, it's nuts. And so what happens is rather than if like, like, so for example, if I would have sold that guidebook, kept the money and then, you know, sold something else, I would just have all that money added to my account. But now I got to worry about paying this off and then possibly anything else that I, if, if like somebody buys something else, if it's not equivalent to what, um, you know, whatever the debt was, eBay's not going to let me print that off. And then if somebody buys some, I got to contact them and literally explain say, Hey, you know, eBay won't let me even send this out. They're blackmailing me because they want you to pay that off. Even though they stole that money from you legitimately, because it was still being refuted, but they decided to close it in favor of the buyer, but they lied about how he should have been able to do that. So that proves that the whole system's rigged, at least in this case, because they don't know what their, talking about as far as what their word policy is you get so many different people that work for them but yet it's like just a, they're blackmailing even their employees because they'd fire them if they don't follow their policy and that's how big corporations are they're evil for the most part soulless because again it's all about money rather than people and what really matters so just saying like this is kind of how ebay goes around doing it and this is what you have to watch out for just in case you sell on ebay you never know this this is some kind of the stuff that your, your results may vary too depending on what it is but whatever it is whatever the situation is you know hopefully it's something you can find a way around because there's always a way around things no matter what happens